Welcome to Maths 1, 2, 3. In this question, we will find the square root of these two algebraic expressions. Let's see how we can find the square root of these uh, two algebraic expressions. First, I will take first question A. And now, if I see this question, so I will see that this first term, I can write it as 6 and raised to power 2 whole square. And this third term 49 I can write like 7 square. So here I can write this middle term as 2 into 6 n square into 7. If I multiply 2 with 16 I will get 12 and 12 into 7 is equal to 84. So I will get this middle term. So this means I can write this as 6 square minus 7 whole square. So here I am using this identity A minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. In this case, my a is equal to 6n square and b is equal to 7. The square root of this algebraic expression 6, 36 raised to power 4 minus 84 n square plus 49 is equal to the square root of 6n square minus 7 whole square. Now, this will get cancelled with this. So, we will get the square root of this algebraic expression is equal to 6 n square minus 7. So, here in this question, we have used this identity to find the square root of this algebraic expression. What about this second question? Are we able to find the square root of this algebraic expression by using any of the identities like a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square, a plus b plus c whole square or all other identities. So, this is not clear. So, to solve this type of question, we need to find the rule. So, I will discuss that rule step by step. Now, let us see how we can find out the square root of this algebraic expression step by step. So, first I will put these lines over here and we know this 16 I can write as 4 and x raised to power 4 I, I can write as uh, 4 x square. So, it means uh, this 4 x square I will write here and this is the if I take the square of this I will get 16 and x raised to power 4. So, this was the first step I will get 0 if I change the sign. After this my remainder is negative 32 x raised to power 3 plus 24 x raised to power 4 minus 8x plus 1 and this was my first step. The second step, first I have to double this number and I will write here. If I double, I will get 8x square here. Step here is I have to divide the first term of this remainder means I have to divide negative 32x raised to power 3 with 8x square divided by 8x square. If I divide, so this will get cancelled. Here I uh, only 1x will left. It so I will get negative 4x. Now I will write this negative 4x here and here also. Now third step is I will multiply this negative 4x with 8x square minus 4x. So if I multiply, I will get negative 32x cube plus 16x square. Now I will write this here. So this will become negative 30, uh, 32x raised to power 3 plus 16x raised to power 2. It's 2 over here. So I will write 2 here. So now I will change the signs. So if I this will become plus and this will become negative. So they will get cancelled. If I will get 8 x square minus 8x plus 1 as my remainder. We have to repeat the same step. So, what we will do now, I will again, I will double this whole thing. So, this will become 8x square minus 8x. Next step here, I will divide the first term of the remainder with the first term of the divisor. So, this will become, this is my fourth step now. 8x square divided by 8x square. So, I will get 1. So, it means I will write here plus 1 and here also plus 1. Now, this, the fourth step 
I will multiply this one with my divisor a tax square a tax plus one. So I'll get same a tax square minus a tax plus one, and will I will write this here. So this will become a tax square minus a tax plus one. Change the sign. This is negative. This will become negative. This positive, and this will negative, and all of these will get cancelled. So my answer is zero. Now, so the square root of this algebraic expression sixteen x raised to power four. Minus thirty two x raised to power three plus twenty four x raised to power two minus eight x plus one is four x square minus four x plus one. The square root of this algebraic expression is equal to four x square minus four x plus one. So here we can check our answer. Take the square of this. I should get inside expression. So let's see. I will get or not. Uh, now I will use this identity a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two ac. Let me apply here. So here my a is four x square whole square plus minus four x whole square plus one whole square plus. 2 into 4x square minus 4x plus 2 into minus 4x into 1 plus 2 1 into 4x square. After solving this, I'll get this 16x raised to power 4 plus 16x square plus 1 minus 32x raised to power 3 minus 8x plus 8x square. This is equal to 16x raised to power 4. I will write this here. 32x raised to power 3. If I add 16 with 8, I will get plus 24x square minus this 8x plus 1, which is same as the given algebraic expression. If you like the video, please give thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and hit the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.